Fiat 500 Bluetooth. Let's get straight into it. Pop your key in, turn on the ignition so all the lights are there. You don't need to start the engine. The car has to be stationary. This is a 2009 Fiat 500 1.2 pop. Now, have your phone ready. This is what you do. If you've got that little Windows icon key on your steering wheel, I thought that you had a Windows phone because it's an older car, but actually it's not that at all. So press it and work from this button and then just follow what it does, what you can hear and what you can see on the screen. So press the button. Please make a selection. Can be a bit slow. Please make a selection. To know the commands available, you can say help at any time. Help. The commands available are message reader, settings, or cancel. Settings. There's no Bluetooth phone connected. Ah, uh -huh. right, so there's no phone connected. So we need to connect the phone. So we now need to say the word pairing. I was looking everywhere to press buttons, but you have to do it through the voice. So just speak and try it again. Pair phone. There's no Bluetooth phone connected. Settings. Settings. The commands available are user data, pairing, advanced features, and exit. Pairing. User pairing in progress. Okay, so now we've got pairing on the dashboard. I just heard something pop up on my phone. The phone code is zero four two four. So that to code. Connect, search for the Bluetooth device with your phone. So just follow what it does. The code displayed. <laughs> right. So basically, follow what it does. The important thing is you got to press the, the Windows key. Then you have to go into settings by saying the word settings. There's no button to press. Only then, when it says the options are, when you say the word help. Uh, such and such pairing are you in that right menu so then you say the word pairing and eventually if you get it right on the dashboard you come up with a pin now I've got 0424 that's going to be different each time you do it because I've done this twice and it was a different number before get your phone now go into your Bluetooth and it will take a little while because at first it didn't come up it took about a minute but what you're looking for is blue and me that's the little fella you want so hit that and then just enter that code that you can see which is on the dash which is 0424 is that right yes it is press tick and hopefully there'll be a bit of recognition connecting Ta-da! there we go come up on the dashboard i got my one plus nine which is the brand of phone i've never used this before so i'm going to give it a go sorry it's so dark and the windows are all steamy but it's winter right oh look it even says the network ee -E. how exciting winter. Oh, it says copy. The index that is necessary to copy the vehicle contacts. Do you want to continue? Um, no. All right. Well, okay. Let's let's try the. The index that is necessary to copy the vehicle contacts. Do you want to continue? Yes. Copying. Oh no! Is that copying my whole phone book? Okay, so it came a message to say authorized. I've just authorized it. So that's a lot of contacts it's going to copy. Hopefully it's not going to take too long. Well, right, let's press the button and see. I don't know if this is going to work, but we'll try it and see. Help. Oh, let's try this. Oh, here we go. Last calls. So I've got last calls coming up on the dash. Oh, got media player there. Oh, that's interesting. Does that mean then that it would play my phone? Help. Please make a selection. To know the commands available, you can say help at any time. Help. I think the microphone's there. The commands available are message reader, settings, telephone, or cancel. Message reader. Message reader. The commands available are read last one, inbox, delete all, signal D type. Delete all. <laughs> Read last one. No message in the vehicle memory. Oh, okay. All right. So let's go back to that and let's just say phone. Phone. Telephone. The commands available are call, followed by the name, dial, followed by the number, redial, or call back. Call Alex Roberts. That's me. 
calls Alex Robert Mara? Yes. Hi, this is Alex. It's me! It works! After you finish your message, <laughs> just hang up. I'll leave myself a message, that's what I'll do. Please press one. Oh look, and the name comes up on the dashboard as well. Hello, this is me, just testing, one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know where the microphone is. I take it it's there, uh, end call. And I got a voice message. So uh, I'm just gonna have a little listen and see. You can probably hear it by, if I put it on the speakerphone. It might actually come through the... Oh. voicemail. You have one new message. First, new message. Received today at 3.50pm. And the name comes up on the dashboard as well. Hello, this is me, just testing, one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know where the microphone is. I think it's there. Uh, end call. To return the call at your normal call rate, press hash. To listen to the message again, message deleted. End of messages. Well, there you go. It works, albeit... A little bit footery, it's not the most obvious. I hope this helps you. It'd be lovely if you could stream music. I'll have a little play with that. I don't think it does. The microphone quality didn't seem to be the best. Maybe I can play with this microphone. It's got to be in there, surely. Um, I'm gonna pull this down here. That looks to be where the microphone is. I'll maybe uh, see if I can speak a little bit nearer. Perhaps that might work. Um, but at least it works. I mean, you've got to remember this car is 13 years old, 14 years old. So I appreciate it if you took the time to get to the end of the video and I hope it helps you. I'll see you on the next one. Today's job, radio, specifically the interference. There's a couple of little secret uh, panels you need to remove. They've got two little hooks on either side and you've got to put them in a certain way. Here is the radio. You can get a cloth and put something down there to stop it from scratching it. And this little fella here, squeezed up the contact a bit. So the next thing I need to do is have a look in the roof and why I'm not getting a reception. All right, that's that done. Wire wall on there. Ah, there's a little pin in there. This side is to the aerial. This side just goes to the radio. No aerial, just using a little thin pointed screwdriver. And if I touch the inside, have a listen. So I'm getting reception without even the aerial. We're all good.